Hey, babe. Why are you awake? It's, uh, it's three in the morning. Can't sleep? Is the storm keeping you up? No, no. I will absolutely not go back to sleep, babe. <laughs> not when you're awake. Shh, don't. I'd rather be awake with you any night. If you got something on your mind, I want to hear about it. So, Spill, what's up? Yeah, you said earlier this week that she was making things more difficult than usual. It seems like ever since she took over, expectations are soaring, while communication is just... well, not... Honestly, all of that sucks. It makes sense why you're feeling anxious about it all. And I'm sure the weather isn't helping either. I know you hate these stormy nights. No, I know you can take care of yourself, baby. You can do anything. But that doesn't mean you have to do it alone. Of course. I don't think you expect me to stay up with you. But if you're feeling anxious and can't sleep, I want to be here for you. So here, why don't I switch on the light and we'll just talk, okay? I'll sit up a bit, like this, and you can rest your head right here. Just come here. Let me run my fingers through your hair while you tell me more. Oh. Yeah, and that makes sense. That's okay, baby. We don't have to talk about it. Instead, I want to talk about those shorts you got. They're so long. Like, full 90s board short situation. Did you get a plastic visor to go with them? <laughs> because that would totally complete the look. <laughs> no, my God, I know. Do you remember that time we took a road trip to the beach and we saw those dudes at the truck stop with those neon board shorts? In sunlight, those shorts were genuinely hard to look at, but I'm ashamed to admit I also thought they were the pinnacle of cool back then. I know, I didn't know anyone even made them anymore. The vibes were, as they say, immaculate. Though, if you get a pair like that, can you let me know first so I can get the appropriate eye protection first? <laughs> I know, I don't need eye damage via board shorts. I'm clumsy enough. <laughs> I mean, earlier I walked right into the coffee table. You know the one I haven't moved since we got it three years ago? Exactly. Now imagine me when I can't see it, I'd be covered in bruises. Look at that smile. You've got such an amazing smile. Just seeing it always lifts my spirit and makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. It's like a hug, but for my eyeballs. <laughs> Which is definitely, absolutely a very normal thing to say. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was awful. I'll never say that again. You're still feeling some kind of way? Or is it letting up? No, I know you didn't say specifically. But work's been rough lately, and I know it can kind of linger. Especially at night when you're trying to settle down for bed. So how are you doing? Mind still feeling busy? Okay, well, that's an improvement. But I want to help. How else can I help you, baby? And if you're not sure, that's okay, too. There's no rush for this. I know we have work in the morning, but it's better to get less good sleep than more bad sleep. And that's a fact, okay? A definitely true one. Well, it sounds right anyway. Don't quote me, <laughs> but I stand by it. <laughs> Maybe I should sign all my work emails that way. Don't quote me. 
<laughs> oh god, that's amazing. How annoyed do you think she'd be if that was your email signature? Actually, how long do you think it would take her to notice, given she apparently doesn't read anyone's emails? Honestly, I wonder if anyone would even tell her. Maybe the whole office would just wait for that little surprise to come to fruition. Make a little game out of it. Oh, I bet. Hopefully she backs off soon. But that doesn't make it any easier right now. Those days can be hard. Even when you've done nothing wrong, it can still be nerve-wracking to feel like you're under so much scrutiny. But you've done nothing wrong, and you have all the documentation to show it. You work smart and hard. Everything you need is in writing. I know it's a lot, but you're not alone in all this. So when it gets a bit much, let me know, and I can take care of you, okay? Good. You're not in this alone. Not tonight, not ever. Want to try some slow, deep breaths? We can do them together. It's okay. I'll guide you. Breathe in for four seconds. Now hold it for four seconds. Then exhale four seconds. Now hold it for another four seconds. Don't breathe in just yet. Good, really good. Just like that. Let's do it a few more times, huh? It's called box breathing. It can sometimes feel a bit weird doing it, but it helps lower your heart rate, clears the mind, and suits you. Want to try it again? Of course, one more. Try not to think about anything else. Just focus on your breathing. Still too many thoughts? Well, better out than in. Let's try to get them out. How? Well, there's any number of things we can do. Write them all down or talk through the big ones. Some other more fun and effective ways. More um, active ones. Some I think you'd definitely enjoy more than others. Hmm, see, those are just the kind I thought you might enjoy. Ones that mean you can relax while I help you feel a little bit more present. Starting here. Does that sound good? <laughs> well, if you're open to it, I'd love to use my mouth to distract you to make you forget about everything else, except for feeling good. That sound good to you, baby? Then lie back and let me take care of you. That's it. You just lie back on the pillows. I'll take care of everything tonight. Starting right here. <laughs> 